Hey everyone, it's Dr. Erin here, one of the Good Doctors of Abbey Research, and I'm coming to you for our continuing uh, celebration of badass women throughout history in our happy birthday blog and social media post series to celebrate the birthday of my favorite author of all time, Miss Jane Austen, who was born on today, December 16th, 1775 in Steventon, England, in the UK. Uh, she's most famous for six published, fully finished novels um, that many of you have heard of. And so for today's birthday blog, I'm going to do one of my favorite things and make a list of my top 10 favorite film adaptations of Jane Austen books. So we're going to roll through these. Let's get started. Number 10 on my list is a delightfully strange movie that came out in 2016 called Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. It is Pride and Prejudice with Zombies. It does what it says on the tin, but if you haven't seen it, you should just see it only for Matt Smith's performance as Mr. Collins, which is probably my favorite. Uh, I wish I could take him and put him in my other favorite Pride and Prejudice adaptations as Mr. Collins, because he's brilliant. At number nine, I have the Sense and Sensibility mini series that came out at the end of 2008. Again, it's really well cast. Dominic Cooper plays a great dastardly Willoughby, uh, and Dan Stevens from Downton Abbey fame is a really delightful Edward Ferris. Um, we had this weird period at the end of the 2000s uh, where we went through a lot of Jane Austen adaptations, and they are like the latter half of my top 10. So uh, picking up from that at number eight, we have a slightly different adaptation, a Bollywood version of Pride and Prejudice that came out in 2004 called Bride and Prejudice, starring Bollywood superstar Ashwarya Rai. It's delightful. I mean, it, what, else, what else do you wanna know? It's delightful, it's set in India. There's great music, super fun dancing. Um, at number seven, another late 2000s British adaptation, the 2007 film version of Northanger Abbey, starring a very young Felicity Jones as Catherine Moreland. It's a really fun story. Um, it's a short book uh, and it's one of her more playful uh, books. And so the adaptation is always really fun. Coming in at number six, a slightly strange uh, film web series on YouTube that I came across a couple of years ago uh, that started in 2012. It's called The Lizzie Bennett Diaries. Uh, it sent set contemporaneously um, where Lizzie Bennett is a film student doing a uh, her final senior year project on this film series. It's charming and it's really inventive the way they do it. Um, cracking the number five, we're getting into the bottom half of the top 10, um, is another uh, really fun modern adaptation of a Jane Austen book and 1995's Clueless, which a lot of people don't know, is adapted from Jane Austen's book, Emma, um, and Clueless is just iconic. Um, it's my favorite adaptation of Emma, uh, even though um, it's, it's not, it's my second favorite adaptation of Emma, um, but who doesn't love Paul Rudd in this movie? He's fantastic. The whole movie is pretty much perfect as far as I'm concerned. But my favorite adaptation of Emma is the 2009 miniseries starring Romulda Garay and Johnny Lee Miller. Um, the music, the costumes, the um, side character casting was absolutely genius. Um, it's very late 2000s British, um, but I, I think it's fantastic and I've watched it multiple times. Speaking of adaptations I've watched multiple times, my favorite book by Jane Austen is Persuasion, um, but it's a very difficult one to adapt and not one that gets adapted as regularly. Um, as obviously Sense and Sensibility or Pride and Prejudice. Um, and it's a 1995 adaptation of Persuasion uh, with Kieran Hines as Captain Wentworth. Uh, it's very, very good and very tense and gut-wrenching. Um, and I love this adaptation. But it is not my favorite. It is my third favorite. My second favorite coming in at number two is the 2005 adaptation of Pride and Prejudice. I know a lot of people love the 1995 version uh, with Colin Firth, but the 2005 version with uh, Keira Knightley and Matthew McFadden is just stunning. The music, again, is fantastic. The side casting, all of her sisters are phenomenal. Um, Kieran, uh, Donald Sutherland is her father. Genius. Um, but 
my number one favorite Jane Austen adaptation is 1995. Again, how many adaptations were there in 1995? On my list, I have at least three. The 1995 adaptation of Sense and Sensibility, Emma Thompson, Hugh Grant, Kate Winslet, Alan Rickman, the list can keep going, Hugh Bonneville, I'm not even done. Um, it's really an absolutely beautifully done film, even if you don't like Jane Austen. Um, but the relationship between Emma Thompson and Hugh Grant has always been my favorite. So that's my top 10 list in celebration of Jane Austen's birthday today. Um, there's a lot of honorable mentions I could have thrown in there, uh, including Lost in Austin, which is a really strange uh, but fun film. Um, but let me know what your favorite adaptations are if you are also a Jane Austen fan. Uh, and next week we'll be back to our regularly scheduled not video recorded happy birthday blocks. But join me in celebrating the birthday of Jane Austen today. I'm Dr. Erin, one of the good doctors of Abbey Research, and we'll see you next time. Bye.